Hi Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to Carmelite Readings, I am Alexandra. And thank you for taking the time to click on this video and come to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. This is gonna be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 2020. This is a general love reading uh, for those that are in a connection um, or a relationship, okay? Um, and if at any point you resonate with this reading and you're interested in a personal reading, uh, please check the link in the description box below for my website. For those of you that are new, um, I will be saying my prayer here in a quick moment because I do like to get started as quickly as possible. Um, as I say my prayer, I'm going to shuffle through each deck. If I pause, please know it's because I'm placing my intentions on the deck. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 2020, in regards to their current life situation and love connection and relationship. I ask that these messages provide clarity, healing, guidance, understanding, as well as a higher perspective on what soul lessons and soul cycles they may currently be going through, needing to become aware of, heal from, learn from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, let's see what we have here. Holy Spirit, what is the overall spiritual message of guidance for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oops. All right, you have Psalms 9-9 nine, nine to begin, okay? And that says, the Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in... A time in times of trouble forgive me on the back it says patience and perseverance have a magical effect before which difficulties disappear and obstacles vanish all right and then we have Matthew 28 20 Jesus said I am with you always to the very end of the age on the back 2nd Thessalonians 3 5 May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. Funny that we have the word perseverance twice. Um, Spirit is really guiding you this month to not give up, to keep pushing forward no matter how difficult a situation uh, may appear or seem, okay? Um, I feel that there is... Um, an issue here that is causing you uh, a lot of stress, okay? And it's wanting you or making you feel as, um, as though you would like to stop and just give up. You just don't want to deal with it anymore. It's too stressful, okay? There's like this loom of, of darkness hanging over you. And Spirit is saying, please don't lose your footing or your grounding. Remain very strong in your connection with God because through him, you'll be able to release any uh, wounded perceptions that you may have regarding the situation you're going through. And you'll be able to release the feelings of anxiety or worry, okay? Really needing to keep pushing through and, and do your best and try to look at the situation as an opportunity to learn something about your yourself, to heal something within, to prepare you for the next level 
of your life as you are ascending and evolving on this journey. Okay? <clears throat> Holy Spirit, what is the romantic energy surrounding Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and their partner, their love connection or relationship? What is the romantic energy surrounding this connection? Overall energy on the bottom of the deck is children. So your love life is being affected by children. So you may have kids or the other person as well, but um, there is a situation regarding children. I'm not seeing it as a negative though, but I feel if you guys have children, maybe you're wanting to um, introduce your children to this person, okay? Or you may have a child with this person or you or the other person may have wanted children, okay? Um, I'm not usually inclined to see the second card or read it, but spirit is pushing me. So there is a separation here underneath. I see separation time apart from your partners on the horizon. Some of you may live at a distance and that's what this is meaning. For others of you, you may know that a break is coming or a separation or you may already be separating. Okay. And that could be affecting children as well. So this could be what is causing you that stress and that anxiety. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So it's very important right now for you to stay in your now moment, to really come from a place of happiness and joy, trying not to focus on issues of the past and not to focus too much on the future, but really being present and in this space of unconditional love and openness, okay, so that you can attract what it is you want. If you're focusing on the negatives or the lack of something, you will continue to bring that into your life because our mind, whatever we are focused on in our mind becomes our reality. So it's very important, Spirit is saying, to shift um, your thoughts into the now. Be happy with where you are so that you can continue to bring happiness and abundance to you. Keep an open mind. <clears throat> your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this person may not be what you expected at first. And maybe it, it, there may have been an issue either with you or them at first where maybe the attraction wasn't as strong and you've kind of grown or this person has grown on you and you're surprised because maybe this person isn't your usual type. Maybe this isn't the type of person that you typically go for, okay? And vice versa for them as well. Romantic feelings. Okay. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So yes, I, like I said, you might be surprised that you are actually gaining feelings for this person or the amount of feelings you have for this person. It's shocking you. But spirit is saying this is something that you need to look into because they brought this person to you for a reason. And then we have codependency. Okay, so addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so there is some, this is like the devil card in tarot. So there is some something that's toxic here. Um, and, and it doesn't have to be like really bad. It could be for some of you addictions, okay? Um, addictions can be anything from, you know, a substance to liquid to um, a person, place, or thing. Attachments, um, anxiety. Uh, we become addicted to specific type of uh, behaviors that we that we have or you know things that we do or how we see things so this could also be somebody who um, might be manipulating a situation or lying going on as well so just keep that in mind okay I am strongly feeling that there's a very strong attachment to something um, and I feel like it could be either you attaching to this person or vice versa and needing to kind of release that hold right? Because if we hold on to something, they tend to just leave. But if we don't try to hold on and we don't obsess and we don't try to control a situation and give someone their freedom, they tend to come back. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Holy Spirit, guidance on the connection and or relationship with Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus, please.
Oh, wow. Look at that. Two of cups just fell out. So there is um, a soulmate here. This is a um, connection that was meant to happen. Okay. There's a level of commitment wanted here. I do feel like two people will be coming together. Okay. That's the overall message. Again, keep an open mind. This person could be your soulmate. Overall energy uh, surrounding this connection, we have the high priestess. This is a time for you to really connect. Trust your feelings, okay? That's what this is about. Trust your intuition. It's like you, you're wanting more information. You're searching for something. You feel like something might be hidden, okay? But you're really needing to just kind of open up and be free, and allow, allow this to just play out. Allow spirit to speak to you about, about this connection. Trust yourself. If you love this person, you know, you love this person. Um, don't stop doubting the connection, okay? Ooh, damn. Interesting. Okay, so the current energy surrounding this uh, situation, uh, relationship, okay? This is the current <clears throat> situation. Is the Ten of Cups. You guys are really happy, okay? This is um, somebody, or they also feel this way, that this is somebody that you could build a family with. You guys are very blissful, okay? There was a lot of peace, a lot of happiness. Um, you may have children together, okay? or you talk about having children together, this is somebody that you see yourself spending your life with here, okay? Um, they really bring you a lot of happiness. Here's the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like Ten of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. This person brings you a lot of happiness, um, but I also feel that somebody's very independent, okay? And maybe you still have your independence in this connection. And maybe that's what makes you guys so happy is there's still this element of feeling free, okay? Which is very important. Um, your current energy Sagittarius towards this person in this connection is a three of pentacles. So you are ready for a commitment. You're kind of, you're taking things th slow because I feel you're, you're creating this relationship. You are weaving together the fabric to, to see, do we fit? right? Can we fit together? Can we make this a solid piece? Okay. Can we make this something that lasts? Um, and wanting to work together, um, and be creative with one another. Okay. So let's just go a little bit deeper here. Holy spirit. Clarify the three of pentacles for Sagittarius energy towards the connection, please. Clarify the three of pentacles. Sagittarius. Boom. Yeah, commitment, union. Look at that. Two of cups. There it is. Um, you're in your element with this person, okay? This is the emperor. Be careful not to be too pushy, okay? Because the emperor is like, I know what I want. This is how I'm going to build it. It's going to be this way. Very committed, okay? Um, but can come off as a little bit controlling sometimes. It's hard to push them into new perspectives, but very, very passionate. Um, you want this. You see this going somewhere. I think that you really enjoy the time that you spend with this person and you feel as though this person, it's like you fill their cup, they fill yours. It's magic when you guys are together. You want this to be something that is solid and stable and you're wanting a stronger commitment. You're ready. Because I feel for you, you're like a person who doesn't usually want to settle down, okay? But with this person, you're like, it doesn't feel like I'm settling. Like this is my person, okay? This person's energy towards you in the connection is the world, they view you very highly. They feel like they've stepped through some type of um, portal, some type of movement, positive movement forward. They may travel to see you. I'm seeing that. Maybe you guys live at a distance, okay? 
but this person feels like you could give them the world or they want to give you the world you're they're very excited and enamored about this they want to step out of their comfort zone and begin a new cycle with you holy spirit clarify the world for this person's feelings for sagittarius and the connection please clarify the world why is the world here yeah, the lovers. Yeah, this is like, they're like, I found it. They want to stop with you. They're madly in love with you. Yeah, king of cups, okay? So it's like, they know they love you. Could be dealing with the water sign. We have Gemini here. Okay, Capricorn. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces as well. But this is, this is definitely, for them, the end all, be all, okay? You guys both want the same thing. It's like magic when they're with you. They feel like, wow. How, how did I get so lucky? How is this happening to me? I can't believe this is real, okay? Um, they don't want to let go. They don't want to let go. The challenge, though, between the two of you, the challenge between the two of you is the Six of Pentacles. So it's like this balance here, okay? Things might be a little off balance or somebody feels like they're not, getting enough time or getting enough in return maybe they want to or maybe you are looking to spend more time with this person that's why we have children here as well okay there could be an issue if you have children from a previous relationship okay it's almost like oh i can't see you right now i have my kids or i'm doing this or whatever it's not that they don't want to be around your children or they view them as a distraction it's more like they want this they just want to come together and they're feeling like somebody's like, hey, something's got to give here. We need a stronger balance. Like I, I call you more or, you know, you don't text me enough. And, I, and I'm feeling like somebody feels that the other person may be breadcrumbing them, not opening up enough. Okay. So there's a need for somebody to, to open up and really be more giving be more relevant and i i don't even like that word but be more there we go not relevant present be more present in this connection like be there i i want to communicate i want to spend time with you i want to go places how come it's like this it's like this closed off cycle we're not going anywhere holy spirit please clarify the six of pentacles as a challenge or what's blocking this connection for sagittarius whoa okay okay wow two cards with the hermit okay yeah isolation like somebody doesn't talk a lot they're very closed off emotionally okay yeah five of cups and four of cups how funny that's enough okay so the challenge is somebody's been through a lot in the past okay so they're very it's like they can't open up because they're too stuck on what they've been through they have this beautiful offer here. Um, they're kind of lost in themselves and they keep a lot of things to themselves. There's this energy of feeling like somebody's sad because it's not going anywhere and it's making the other person feel like, is this even the right thing? You're trying to get to this level where everybody is happy. The Five of Cups and the Four of Cups gives me the Nine of Cups, which is emotional happiness and abundance, but it's also laziness. It's also somebody who just sits there and expects everything to be given to them and handed to them without them having to put in any effort, okay? Which goes hand in hand with the Six of Pentacles. So it's almost like it's a real bummer, okay, to you or the other person that it's making you kind of think like, hey, I have this great opportunity here, but is it worth it? Because I don't want to go through something that, that I'm the only one putting forth any energy or I'm the only one, you know, exhausting myself with efforts to make this work. The outcome of this situation is the devil. I feel like... 
Okay, this may not be for all of you, but what I'm getting with the devil is it's like somebody is like a puppet on a string, right? You see how the devil has that puppet on a, on the string. But what I'm feeling is this may be just for the women, but I could be wrong, so I'm just gonna say it. I'm I'm seeing somebody who's like when when the other person is asking for for more effort or opening up. It, they feel like they're being controlled, right? They're like, no. And that's because of past experiences in relationship. They feel like somebody's trying to control them or that they're asking for too much. And so then, then that creates an energy of the other person thinking they're being manipulated. Okay, so you may feel like you're being manipulated. And again, this has to do with codependency. There's something here that is toxic or, or dark that is preventing this challenge from being healed, okay? Someone's worried about being manipulated and lied to, being used. It's almost like they're obsessing over it, okay? Holy Spirit, please clarify the devil as the outcome. Why is the devil here? Somebody feels like I'm just a puppet, like you're, you're just using me. I'm not anything to you. And the funny thing is that's not true. You guys both really love each other and want this to move forward. Holy Spirit, why is the devil here for the outcome? Knight of Cups. With the Hermit. Somebody, they want to offer their love. Somebody really wants to come in and offer their love, but it, it, I feel like they just might not because there's some healing that needs to take place or maybe they don't, maybe they feel as though it's too good to be true. Like it's just too good to be true. There's no way that this person feels this way. It's almost too luring, right? It's, it's too luring or maybe somebody has a lot of emotional baggage because here's the hermit again. And, and here we're seeing this emotional baggage pop up. It's like, you guys, really could have something amazing but there's this whole blockage that's preventing it from moving forward what minutes are we at? okay let me just clarify for you before we close out here holy spirit tell me about this devil what is this devil in regards to what is what is this this toxicity what is this toxicity coming through for Sagittarius in this connection. What is this toxicity, please? Cherry. Yeah, somebody feels like something is hidden. Like there could be something hidden. They don't want to be this vulnerable. Like being vulnerable is like they feel like they're being manipulated or it's moving too fast, okay? It's moving too fast. It's making them want to run, but they... It's also, <laughs> I'm also seeing for a lot of you, there's a lot of hidden emotions here and there's a choice at hand, a decision. And I feel like it, it could lead to marriage and that scares somebody. Like, do I really want to make this commitment again? This person may have been in a previous relationship that just was not healthy, or this could be you. And it's very scare, scary hanged man. So it's causing them to be, to be stuck. And then uh, closing out, Holy Spirit, for closing messages for Sagittarius, please clarify the High Priestess as the overall energy for Sagittarius in this love connection, please, the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? The Emperor. Let go. Release control. Go with the flow. Here's the Empress. Trust your intuition, okay? This is a divine connection here. Yeah, you need to remove your blinders. Ten of Wands, starting over. You guys could have something very um, powerful. Okay, this is a divine union, d union, husband and wife, twin, twin uh, flames and soulmates here, especially with the Two of Cups, the Lovers, the Ten of Cups. Um, you could have a very stable, healthy, abundant relationship. But you're needing to just let go and go with the flow of things. Stop trying to control everything and, and stop worrying about if if there's a hidden agenda all right Sagittarius thank you guys so much I'll see you soon